Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for another Water Washout Tournament. And yes, this is part three of the first round. And well, the final part of the first round matches. So, let's get on with it. Alright, we're ready for our first matchup. And in the red corner, we have the Saltosaurus. The lizard from Salta himself. And this could be... This could be a this could be a dark horse in the tournament for me, because oh my god, look at that, Max, Hydro Cutter, that is gonna be deadly. That critical move, on top of Aqua Javelin as well. We can see some big hits from Saltosaurus this match, and in the blue corner we have Nemectosaurus. Um, yeah, I've gotta be wary of that Water Sword as well. Archaeopteryx Charm could come in handy this matchup. But yeah, I'd probably say the Saltosaurus is the favourite here. But, as RNG has shown before, anything can happen. Ooh, he's going for that crit right off the bat. Well, Saltosaurus does get the crit, but it's not a Hydro Cutter, because Hydro Cutter only triggers after you lose. But still, look at that damage. Uh, that's a six, that is Skizzers. And number one. Ooh, the Nemectosaurus strikes back with a water sword. Um, yeah, for those of you that are new, moves will be randomly generated by moi. Uh, one and four will be rock. Two and five will be paper. Three and six will be scissors. Ooh, another water sword. The Nemectosaurus striking back. But he has to be wary of that hydro cutter. If the Saltosaurus gets that off, it will be game over. And the Saltosaurus is going for it. Oh, he doesn't get it! Instead, the Nemectosaurus gets a hit and takes out the Saltosaurus. And takes a first round win. Um, yeah, well done to the Nemectosaurus. But the Saltosaurus can still turn it around in round two. Alrighty then, let's get on with round two. And we're in the Alpha Arena. Witnessing the clash between Saltosaurus and the Megdosaurus. And the Megdosaurus did pretty well in the first round. Did claim a crucial win. And if the Megdosaurus wins here, he will be going through. And the Saltosaurus will be feeling salty. Because he'll be going home. Ooh, the Megdosaurus gets the first hit. But the Hydro Cutter is triggered. Oh, Saltosaurus not going for it. Oh, right call from the Saltosaurus. And there's a technique boost to boot. Increasing the likelihood of Aqua Javelin from activating. Ooh, the Nemegdosaurus though gets off a water sword. We saw how effective that water sword was last round. Ooh, the Saltosaurus is going for the Hydro Cutter. Oh, and he's not getting it! And the Megdosaurus is having none of it. I think the Saltosaurus might be done. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, he survived! The Saltosaurus hanging on by a thread. Oh, he does get a hit off. Oosh. Will he get Aqua Javelin? No. Saltosaurus. And that's Curtin for Saltosaurus. The tie finishing him off and giving the Megdosaurus a 2 0 victory. Into the quarterfinals he goes. I was quite surprised I thought Saltosaurus would do well. But the Megdosaurus threw a curveball. Right, let's move on to our next matchup. Right, let's get on with our next matchup, and this was quite an interesting clash because in the blue red corner we have the Alpha Irritator. And I quite like the Alpha Dinosaurs. The, one, the ones with 1000 strength and technique. But yeah, here's Alpha Irritator. We're Alpha moves because it is an Alpha Dinosaur. But it's gonna be a big ass because in the blue corner we have the Spinosaurus. 
the Dino Tector version. This is not Spiny Dino Tector. This is the Spinosaurus Dino Tector. Could be a short match. This Ocean Panic, and I, I think that's Ocean Panic. Oh, burn! I haven't included Neptune Stream in the tournament. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> Unless that's what this is. Anyway, moving on. Ooh, the Irritate the gets the first hit off. And it's a wall smash. Oosh. The winner of... I should mention that the winner of this matchup will face us, the Nemegdosaurus in the quarterfinals. Oh, the Irritate gets another wall smash off. Not what I was expecting so far. I, th I think this might be the video for upsets. Ooh, and an Aqua Javelin as well. Irritator in complete control so far. The Spino Tector not looking good. Ooh, that's quite nice. Spino Tector, we'll call it that. The Spino Tector is in a bit of trouble here. But the Spino Tector does get its first hit off. And because of that Scissor Scissors type, I think it's Scissor Scissors type, or Paper Paper type. Well, because of this battle type, it does extra damage. And you can see the moves, like, shaking there. Ooh, you guess I never hit off. I think this is... Tail Smash. Oh, he took him out! Wow. A comeback from the Spinotector defeats the Alpha Irritator. And, surprisingly, because the Alpha Irritator was on top, the Spino Tector takes the, f takes the first round. Right, on the round two. I should really learn to remember the movesets I set for these dinosaurs. <laughs> anyway, back to the matchup. Yes, it's on the beach again. With the Alpha Irritator, it's going to have another go at the Spino Tector. If the Spino Tector wins this round, he will go through to play Saltosaurus. But if the Irritator wins this round, we go on to one more matchup. Ooh, the Irritator does get the first hit. But it did get the first hit last time, as you remember. And that didn't matter. Ooh, we have a tie. And an Ocean Panic is going to be activated. The Spinotector striking back. I'd probably say one of the favourites for the tournament, Spinal Tector, along with Brontokins. But I think Brontokins is better. Purely because I think it does have higher technique than the Spinal Tector. Ooh, the Ocean Panic there, nullifying the Irritator's moves. You know what that means? Now the Spinal Tector will be going scissors. Uh, well, we can't go rock. But he can go paper. And the Spinal Tector gets a big crit off on the Alpha Irritator. And leaving it pretty close to elimination. Oh, the Irritator's showing some defiance. Oh, striking back. It's not completely one-sided. And a Aqua Javelin is going to help its cause. And all of a sudden, it's up for grabs. Oh, it's a tie. But no Ocean Panic, which is crucial for the Alpha Irritator. Oh, the, the Irritator has evened the score. Oh, wait, no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't evened it just yet. But it does get off an ACT rocket, and if it does drop next round, it will kill the Spinal Tactor. Oh, it's not going to drop. Wait, what happens if the Spinal Tactor... Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Oh, it's a tie! Oh, the Ocean Panic! The Spinal Tactor snatching a win from the Irritator with an Ocean Panic move. And um, if the rocket comes down and kills the Spinal, I will declare it a draw. But it doesn't look like it's going to. Nope! The rocket does not come down. Oh, the move backfired from Irritator on the brink of e even in the score. Leaving the door open for Spino Tector to get off an ocean panic and take a 2 0 win into the quarterfinals. Oh, that was a good match, wasn't it?
Alrighty then, on to our third matchup, and in the blue co red corner, I mean, kind of anticipated by some people, we have Spiny, the normal one. Spinosaurus! Um, not much to say about Spiny. Um, lucky seven type. Gotta be cautious of that shockwave. A couple of alpha moves as well with banana surprise and a bit of softening beam, so yeah. Spiny could be one to watch this tournament, but it's gonna be tough because in the blue corner we have the Amargosaurus. Yes, there's gonna be a rematch between these two from the anime. Well, their fight never concluded because Paris intervened and killed Spiny. Anyway, gotta be very cautious of that tragedy of the sphere. That could do a lot of damage to Spiny. Wait, why does Spiny why does Sail look a bit flat? Maybe that's maybe that's to distinguish Spiny from the normal Spinosaur. Ooh, we have a tie to begin with. And the Amargosaurus, I think, taking a bit more damage there. But the Amargosaurus does get the first hit. Boosh. I think that's attack boost. Ooh, another tie. A solid start so far from the Amargosaurus. Ooh, and Spiny responds with his first attack of the match. A banana surprise. Gonna cause the Amargosaurus to slip. And doing a lot of damage and a shockwave to boot. Which means the Amargosaurus will lose one of its moves next turn. Which one will it be? It will be Rock. Which means Spiny's move will be Scissors. And as for the Amargosaurus, it's gonna be Paper. And I think Spiny might have just won it. Whee! Boosh! Yep, that's curtains for Amargosaurus. And Spiny takes the first round. Uh, quite impressive, actually. Decent amount of damage from the crit. The shockwave coming into play. Spiny could be one to watch. Right, on to round two. Alrighty then, on to round two. Will the Amargosaurus even the score? Or will Spiny take a 2 0 win? The third 2 0 win in this video. I <laughs> think they're all going to be 2 0 wins. Yeah, yeah, we know what we got. We got the Spiny, and we got Amargosaurus. Um. Yeah, yeah, Spiny might. Might win this one. I think Spy. I think Spiny will win it. Yeah. Ooh, but the Amargosaurus so has other ideas. Gets off the first hit. Not doing too much damage. That's because all of Amargosaurus's power is in its crypt. Ooh, the Amargosaurus gets off another hit and more attack boostage. Dealing more damage to Spiny. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh, but Spiny strikes back with a crit. We saw what Banana Surprise did in the last round. Whee! Boosh. Ooh, but no shockwave this time. That means the Amargosaurus must keep all of its moves. Oh, damn it, I moved, I moved the emulator. Uh, get it back up. There. Okay, that was one for Spiny, but five for Amarga. And Spiny, not looking good this time. Ooh, a tie, and I think that'll finish off Spiny. Yeah, that Spiny will go down, and the Amargosaurus evens the score. Well, you know what that means? It all comes down to this next matchup. Alrighty then, we're ready for the third round. And we're fighting in the Alpha Arena. Ooh, does that mean Spiny will have the edge here? <laughs> like a home field advantage, isn't it? Ding, ding. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. And this has been a more entertaining match. Although the last one between Alpha Irritator and Spinal Tech was pretty good. It's just a Spinal Tech to 1-2-0. Ooh, the Amargosaurus 
as it has done, I think, in all three of the rounds, has started off with a rock. Ooh, Spiny going, trying different tactics this time. And it's working because a softening beam is going to come into play. Analyzing the Amargosaurus, its strength, weakness, and skeletal structure. Uh, don't know what that does. Ooh, a shockwave! That's good for Spiny. That means the Amargosaurus' move will be... One of its moves will be blocked. And once again, it's his block move. Okay, so that means Spiny will go for scissors. And the Amargosaurus will also go for scissors. Ooh! Oh yeah, that's what Softening Beam does. It look it increases the damage you take in a tie. Ooh, banana surprise, I think. Um, yeah, I think this might finish Amargosaurus off. Whee! Oh, it doesn't! But a shockwave! Pretty Oh well, yeah, that's it. It's over. The shockwave will guarantee Spiny's entrance into the quarterfinals. Whether he wins or a, or it's a tie, the Amargosaurus will die. Okay, yeah. Whoosh. Yep, there it is. Amargosaurus has gone down. And Spiny takes a 2-1 two, two, win. And yeah, pretty impressive from Spiny. Looking pretty good. Right, now... Onto our final matchup of the first round. And the last two dinos to enter the arena. Alright, in the in the red corner we have Opasthosi Lacadia. Yes, the long name that pretty much nobody can pronounce. Um yeah, that Futaba cannon could be lethal. And a very attack-minded moveset here. Wow, look at that. But for a dinosaur that only has a thousand strength, that's really good. In the blue corner, we have the newest water dinosaur in the game, the Augustinia. Um, not too much attack here, but mainly technique, and yes, yeah, pretty good technique for a silver dinosaur. I mean, this guy has 300 technique, so... Yeah, that's pretty good. And um, we could be in for a decent match here. The winner of this matchup will play Spiny in the quarterfinals. Will it be Opasthosi Lacadia? Or will it be Augustinia? Look, we start with a tie. And Augustinia takes more damage. Ooh, the first hit goes to Opasthosi Lacadia. A good start from the Opasthosi Lacadia. Look, we have a tie. Ooh, the blunder type effect there coming from the Augustinia. That could come in handy this match. But it won't come in much handy if the Augustinia cannot get a hit. Ooh, but the Augustinia finally gets a hit. And it is a stun dash. Boosh! And the Segnosaurus will come in. Slapping sense. Well, slap in the... Opasthosi Lacadia. Silly. Ooh. Going for Futaba Cannon. But he's not getting it. And the Augustinia instead gets off a crit. Oh, and he kills him. Nice. The Augustinia coming from behind to take the first round. One more win and he will join Spiny. Well, he'll join the others in the quarterfinal. Right, on to round two, and I'm going to take a drink a minute. Right, will the... Even the score, or will Augustinia take a 2-0 win? Ooh, a good start from Augustinia, and not good for the Opasthosi Lacadia. Ooh, we have a tie. And the but really needs to get a hit here, otherwise he's going to be heading home. Ooh, the blunder type effect there from Augustinia. Another tie. 
The ties are wearing down the Opus Thosi Lacadia. Ooh, but that's exactly what it could need. A crept dealing a decent amount of damage to Augustinia, but it's still not looking good. Ooh, a tie. I can't afford any many more of those. Ooh, but it can afford that though. A Futaba cannon might have just, well, has just salvaged a, res a draw. Well, has salvaged a win for the Opasthosi Lacadia. And we are all square. So you know what that's going to mean. It's going to come down to this next round. Alrighty then. For our third and final round, well, we know we know who's who. We know what they got. Let's just get on with it. Right. Who will advance to play Spiny in the quarterfinals? Will it be the Opastosi Lacadia? Or will it be Augustinia? Ooh, the Opastosi Lacadia gets the first hit, and it's a critical one because it's a crit. And the Futaba Cannon gets acted. Well, it gets triggered. Ooh, the is going for it. But not getting it, instead the Augustinia is going to get off his crept. And a shockwave to boot. That's not good for the Opasthosi Lacadia. As that means, whichever move breaks is paper. Which means the Augustinia will be going for another crept. And he gets another crept? This might be curtains for Opasthosi Lacadia. Oh it is! Wow! Two crepts from the Augustinia has defeated the and knocked him out of the tournament. So, that is it for the first round. Let's have a look at our quarterfinalists. Alright, and that is how the format looks for this quarterfinals. Up here we have the Isosaurus against Spinosaurus, and then we have Patagosaurus against Alpha Sukumimus, and here's a big one we have the, with the Ampelosaurus facing off against Brontokins. And down here we have the little Gondwana Titan against the Baryonyx. And as for this bracket, we have the, the, Meg the Megdosaurus facing off against Spinotector. And then our last matchup of the quarterfinal, Spiny versus Augustinia. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.